welcome back uh, to the series of lectures on ODE and its applications. Uh, today we will discuss about the existence and the uniqueness of solution of initial value problems. Uh, you have already seen that in the theory of first order and second order differential equations, the need of uh, existence and uniqueness of solution. Uh, and uh, this uh, uh, session we deal with an initial value problem that is a differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x y. So, call this as a given differential equation where f is a function is uh, defined on r cross r to r is a function uh, not necessarily linear. So, this model can handle both linear and uh, non-linear uh, differential equations. Uh, along with the differential equation, we also give an additional initial condition y at x 0 is equal to y 0. So, call this as equation number 2. Uh, this uh, equation 1 along with the initial condition uh, 2 is known as an initial value problem and equation 1 plus 2 this uh, form an initial value problem. is an initial value problem and commonly written as IVP initial value problem. Now, this uh, model this uh, first order differential equation could be a model derived from a physical system and a very important question once a model of this form is framed is does there exist a solution to this equation? If the solution exists will that solution be uh, unique and also will the solution varies continuously with respect to the initial condition y 0. So, these are the major uh, 3 problems which uh, we will uh, discuss in details in this session. see uh, first uh, let us see what do you mean by a solution of this differential equation. So, solution of of IVP. So, equation 1 and 2 this is form an IVP the solution of IVP the solution of IVP is a function is a function say y x which uh, is differentiable and satisfies which satisfies the equation 1 and the initial condition 2. So, a solution uh, since uh, the equation is dy by dx is equal to f of x y. 
So, we require that the solution y has to be a differentiable function, it has to satisfy the differential equation. So, the, therefore, it is a differentiable function and also satisfies the given initial condition y at x0 is equal to y0. Uh, in other words, we are looking for a function. So, we look for a function y x which is differentiable we look for a function y x which is differentiable and uh, starts from from the initial point x0 y0 starts from the initial point x0 y0 that is if this point is x0 and this point is y0 say this is a point x0 y0 we are looking for a function which starts from x0 y0 and whose slope and uh, whose slope slope of y x at any point slope of y x at any point x y in the x y plane is d y by d x at x y which is given by the differential equation f of x y. So, therefore, the solution of a differential equation uh, 1 with the initial condition 2 is a function that starts from the initial point x0 y0 of course, so that is differentiable and the slope at any point is given by dy by dx is equal to f of xy which is coming from the differential equation f of x y is given to us. So, slope at any point x y is known to us and the initial point is known to us we are looking for uh, for the function which starts from x 0 y 0 which starts from x 0 y 0 and whose slope is uh, at any point is f of x y. Now, we deal with uh, well poisonous of this problem, well poisonous of mathematical model. So, the, the mathematical model is given by the uh, initial value problem. So, let the mathematical model is given by the differential equation dy by dx is equal to f of x y with initial condition y at x 0 is y 0. So, this model is well posed if the following three properties are satisfied, if the following three properties are satisfied.
So, this uh, well poisonous was uh, raised by the famous uh, French mathematician J. Hadamard. So, the well poisonous problem was introduced by Hadamard. And Hadamard raised the issue of well poisonous, which uh, says that given a mathematical model, if the model satisfies the following three properties, then the model is well posed. The first property is there exist a solution. to the initial value problem. There exists a solution. So, that is the existence problem. So, which is known as the existence problem. So, given a mathematical model, the first question is to de uh, decide whether there exists a solution or not. That is the existence problem. And second problem is uh, is a solution unique? The solution the solution is unique. So, that is uniqueness problem uniqueness problem. If the solution exists will there be more than one solution or the solution is unique and the third problem or third property of a well posed uh, problem is the solution so behavior so solutions behavior changes continuously with respect to continuously with respect to the initial condition the initial condition So, these three problems, the first one is there exists a solution to the uh, mathematical model. The second problem is uh, whether the solution is unique and third problem is whether the solution changes continuously with respect to the initial condition, initial condition here it is y 0. So, the third problem is uh, known as the stability problem, stability. So, the existence problem first, then the uniqueness problem and the third one is a stability problem. So, if a model is not satisfying these uh, three properties, so, any model which is not satisfying these three properties is known as a, a ill post problem. Ill post problem. A problem does not satisfy the Hadamard does not satisfy the Hadamard well poisonous conditions.
Now we will discuss the problem of uh, existence, uniqueness and uh, stability of uh, some simple uh, differential equation symbol initial value problems. So, let us take an example. So, example 1. So, consider the first order, consider the first order homogeneous linear differential equation, homogeneous linear differential equation. given by d y by d x is equal to 2 y along with an initial condition say y at 0 is 3. Uh, you have already seen how to solve this uh, linear differential equation in the previous lectures. If you separate separating out the variables and integrating, so separating out the variables and integrating we obtain d y by y is equal to 2 d x. If we separate out the variables and if we integrate adding a constant c, we get ln of y is equal to 2 x plus c and taking exponential on both sides, we get y of x is equal to e to the power 2 x plus c which is equal to uh, say the first constant is c is 0. Uh, you get c into e to the power 2 x where c is equal to e to the power c 0. So, therefore, the solution of this differential equation I have not applied the initial condition the solution of this differential equation can be obtained easily by uh, separating out the variables or by the method of separation of variables. So, y x is equal to c e to the power 2 x which is a family of solutions or curves. So, one parameter c for this is a solution for every value of c. So, c is an arbitrary constant. So, the given linear differential equation has got infinitely many solutions and for every c the given expression y this y, y is equal to c into e to the power 2 x is a solution. So, if you plot the solution this is one solution or one value of c. So, this is so c 1 e to the power 2 x and uh, this could be another solution for c 2 e to the power 2 x. and you have a, a family of one parameter family of solutions. So, these are all solutions a, a family of solutions to the given linear differential equation and this solution is known as a general solution. So, y x is equal to c e to the power 2 x is known as a general solution
to the differential equation dy by dx is equal to 2 y. So, I have not applied the given initial condition. So, once I give an initial condition, so applying the initial condition applying the initial condition y at 0 is 3, then this becomes uh, y at 0 is equal to 3 which is equal to we can plug in the value of uh, value value to x as 0. So, c into e to the power 2 into 0, so which is c or in other words c is equal to 3. So, therefore, we get the solution y x is equal to 3 e to the power 2 x. So, this is a solution of the given differential equation satisfying satisfying the uh, given initial condition. Say if for this point is 3, say then 3 e to the power 2 x. So, this is a solution if for this point is 3. And for a particular value of c, the general solution becomes a particular solution and uh, if you uh, give a specific value to the arbitrary constant c, then uh, the solution we obtain is known as a particular solution. A particular solution So, y of x is equal to 3 e to the power 2 x is a particular solution and similarly y of x is equal to 5 e to the power 2 x they are all particular solutions uh, okay, by putting various values. So, initially it is c is equal to 3 and second case c is equal to 5. So, a particular solution is obtained by giving a particular value to the general solution. Now, for a given differential equation, there can be another type of solution which is known as a singular solution. So, three types of solutions we have discussed one is a general solution, and a particular solution and a third type of solution is singular solution. So, general solution we obtained and in the general solution uh, there is a parameter, a parameter That is a parameter family of solution. So, in our case, it was y is equal to c e to the power 2 x, and particular solution say c is equal to you particularize the value of c, c is equal to 10, then y is equal to 10 e to the power 2 x is a particular solution and a singular solution uh, is a solution is a solution which cannot be obtained from the general solution. But in our in the previous example, uh, we have only these two types of solution general solution and a particular solution and singular solution does not exist for the previous example. Now, we consider an example. So, example 
say so call it 2. So, consider consider the nonlinear differential equation say d y by d x is equal to y minus 3 the whole square. So, we have seen that uh, this equation is obviously a nonlinear differential equation. So, how to solve it by the method of by the method of separation of variables. by the method of separation of variables separating out the variables and integrating uh, you get this is uh, d y y minus 3 square d y is equal to d x and integrating plus adding a constant c. So, integral of 1 by y minus 3 the whole square is minus 1 by y minus 3 which is equal to x plus c. So, this uh, simplifying we get y is equal to you take y minus 3 over there and minus 1 by x plus 3 there. So, y is equal to 3 minus minus 1 by x plus c. So, this uh, is a general solution for every value of c, every value of c this is a solution. So, therefore, this is a general solution so this is a general solution and if you give particular values to c uh, say for example, y is equal to 3 minus 1 by x is a particular solution so where c is equal to 0 okay when c is equal to 0 you get a particular solution so this is a particular solution now you can verify easily that y is equal to 3 once you substitute y is equal to 3 is a constant function into this equation and uh, this equation is satisfied is also a solution is also a solution, but that is not obtained from the general solution and therefore, this is a singular solution. So, y is equal to 3 is a singular solution is a singular solution. So, this example uh, we see three types of solution general solution and a particular solution and also a singular solution and um, uh, we can give see further examples. So, uh, another example say example call it 3. So, consider a differential equation d y by d x is equal to y square minus 4 y square minus 4. Again by the method of uh, separation of variables and you can integrate and you can easily see that y x is equal to 2 plus 2 uh, some constant c times e to the power 4 x divided by 1 minus c e to the power 4 x 
is a general solution. I will leave this as an exercise to show that y is a general solution. And uh, once you specialize say c, when c is equal to 0, then we obtain y is equal to okay, 2 is a particular solution. Now, this can also be sh uh, shown that okay, observe that y x is equal to minus 2. If you look at the function constant function y x is equal to minus 2 also satisfies the given differential equation. So, y is equal to minus 2 is also a solution which cannot be obtained from the general solution. So, therefore, uh, this y is equal to minus 2 this solution that cannot be obtained from the general solution. So, hence, so therefore, this is a singular solution, is a singular solution. Okay, now, we look into initial value problem, where an initial value problem need not have a solution or another initial value problem have uh, more than one solution or an initial value problem has a unique solution these three situations. So, initial value problem cases no solution Uh, infinitely many solution and unique solution. So, these are uh, three situations. So, we will look into some examples of initial value problems that has a unique solution and infinitely many solution and no solution all these uh, situations will. So, let us uh, first uh, consider a linear case so later on we will uh, give sufficient condition to ensure under what condition an initial value problem has a unique solution and under what condition a solution has a solution and a solution is unique and all such things we will uh, uh, deal with uh, later. So, example 4 just to get a feel of existence and non existence of solutions uh, we take a few more examples. So, consider the initial value problem say d y by d x is equal to say 2 by x y with an initial condition y at 0 is 0. So, obviously, this is a linear equation. So, linear differential equation and uh, is a homogeneous. linear homogeneous 
and variable coefficient. So, this uh, coefficient is variable 2 by x. So, it is a and there is no term which does not depend upon y. So, therefore, it is a homogeneous and uh, obviously, it is linear with respect to the unknown function y. So, therefore, it is linear differential equation. Now, uh, let us look into the solution again by the method of separation variables. method of separation of uh, variables uh, we have dy by y is equal to 2 by x into dx separating out the variables and integrating and adding a constant uh, call it c0. So, you can write this is a ln of y, this is 2 ln of x plus a constant c0. So, which is a, a ln of y, which is ln of x square, 2 ln of x is ln of x square plus c0, and bring this term over here, ln of y minus ln of x square is equal to c 0. Okay, that is uh, ln of y by x square is equal to c 0 or taking exponential on both sides get y by x square is equal to e to the power c 0. So, call this as c. So, therefore, y is equal to c into x square is the solution, is a general solution where c is a param arbitrary parameter. Okay, for every value of c, y is equal to c x square is a solution. And in order to satisfy the initial condition y at 0 is equal to 0 is obviously satisfied y at 0 is c into 0 square which is 0 is obviously satisfied or for all values of c. So, therefore, y is equal to c x square is a solution. to the initial value problem. It is uh, satisfying the differential equation at the same time it is also satisfying the initial condition uh, for all values of c. So, y is equal to c x square is a solution to the initial value problem for every value of c. So, what does it say? It says that the initial value problem has infinitely many solutions. So, if you look at the solution, so this is a parabola y is equal to c x square for one value of c and for another value of c, this is another parabola y is equal to c 1 x square, y is equal to c 2 x square and for any value of c. So, this is also another solution. So, this is a, a family of parabolas you get infinitely many parabolas happens to be solutions of the initial value problem. So, therefore, for an initial value problem there is a possibility that the solution is not unique, it may have infinitely many solutions. Now, if you look at the uh, same problem, the same equation 
with a different uh, initial condition. So, uh, look at the same problem So, you if the example is 5 then d y by d x is equal to 2 by x y. Now, the initial condition is changed y at 0 is 1 and uh, as we have already noticed that all solution of this initial value this uh, differential equation should pass through the origin. So, it cannot pass through the point 0 1. So, 0 1 is a point you are looking for you want the solution to pass through the point 0 1 okay, when x is equal to 0 and this is not possible. So, there is no solution this is 1 which is passing to the point 0 1 and is uh, no, is also a solution to this differential equation. So, no solution no solution satisfies the initial condition. y at 0 is equal to 1. Okay, why? Because y of x is c into x square and uh, you want y at 0 is equal to c into x is 1 0 square and you want this to be 1 which is not possible. So, therefore, the moral of the story is no solution to the initial value problem d y by d x is equal to 2 by x y the initial condition y at 0 is equal to 1. And uh, one more thing we observe that if we change the initial condition okay, for the same problem say it's a example 6 the same differential equation d y by d x is equal to 2 by x y and y at 1 is 2 say for example. I am giving a condition at 1 which is a non-zero condition the value is non-zero. So, it can be shown easily that y of x we have already seen the solution is of the form c x square and you are looking for y at 1 is equal to c into 1 square which you want this to be 2. So, this implies that c is equal to 2. So, therefore, uh, y is equal to 2 x square y is equal to 2 x square is a unique solution. So, this example the same problem with a different uh, initial condition d y by d x is equal to 2 by x into y with initial uh, different initial condition y at 1 is equal to 2 has a unique solution. So, same differential equation which is giving rise to three different uh, situations where no solution and where there is unique solution and also there is infinitely many solution. Now, we look into the solution of a differential equation where it is defined. So, so our equation is dy by dx is equal to f of x y initial conditions y at x 0 is y 0. The domain of in which the solution is is defined. So, for a 
initial value problem of this form, there may be a solution starting from the point x0, x0, y0 and that solution may exist only for some interval on the x axis. So, this is a x0 and this is y0 and this is a point from where we start x0, y0 looking for a solution and the solution is yx and it can in some many of the initial value problem this interval okay call it x1 uh, the solution exists in a small interval x0 okay x0 x1 okay this is called the domain of solution domain of solution y and it can happen that the solution is defined on the entire x axis and some problems it is defined only on some small interval or only on some particular bounded set in the x axis. So, for that also we look into some examples. So, example Uh, example 7. So, consider an initial value problem. So, consider an initial value problem given by dy by dx is equal to y square and initial condition is y at 0 is equal to b a positive number. Okay, this is a nonlinear differential equation. The initial condition is uh, is y at zero is some number b. We are starting at okay this point zero b, and we are looking for a solution y. So from uh, the point x is equal to zero. Okay, let us uh, look at the solution. Uh, again by the method of suppression of variables, so by the method of suppression of variables, so we get separating out the variables this is 1 by y square dy is equal to dx and integrating adding a constant c and integral of 1 by y square is minus 1 by y is equal to x plus c. So, this uh, just by simplifying you get y is equal to minus 1 by x plus c. So, the solution is y is equal to minus 1 by x plus c. Now, the initial condition y at 0 is b. So, this implies that y at 0 is equal to b which is equal to minus 1 by c. So, this implies that c is equal to minus 1 by b. So, plugging this value to the solution y of x is equal to minus 1 by x minus 1 by b which is equal to b by 1 minus b x. So, this is a the solution to the initial value problem. So, the solution is y of x is equal to b by 1 minus b x. So, look at uh, the solution. So, starting from so starting from 0 b as uh, you increase x 
if uh, x is uh, less than 1 by v, you see if x is equal to 1 by v, then uh, the solution blows up. Uh, so, therefore, the solution exists. So, this exists for x strictly less than 1 by v. So, therefore, if uh, b is uh, okay, the solution x is so 1 by b. If b is 1, then 1 by v is 1. So, this is uh, 0 to 1. So, for example, b is equal to 1, then uh, solution exists, the domain of solution is 0 to 1. But if uh, b is a very large number, so if b is large, so 1 by b is small, and uh, hence the domain of existence is domain of existence. from 0 is very small interval. Okay, note that although the equation looks to be a very nice equation, the initial value problem looks nice on the entire real line. Starting from 0 b, the solution y x exists in a small interval 0 1 by b. So, so, 0 1 by b if b is large is a small interval. So, solution exists if b is large then the solution exists on a small domain to the right of x is equal to 0. Now, looking at um, another problem example call it example 8 uh, here known uniqueness so non uniqueness of non linear initial value problem. So, consider the initial value problem. So, given by d y by d x is equal to 3 y to the power 2 by 3 and the initial condition is y at 0 is 0. So, this is also a nonlinear differential equation with a given initial uh, point 0 0 initial condition is 0 0. So, you are looking for a solution that starts from 0 0. And um, again by the method of separation of variables. method of separation of variables. So, this is uh, d y 1 by uh, two to the power 3 by 2. So, 3 is equal to d x and integrating and adding a constant c. So, which is integral uh, 1 by 3 y to the power minus 2 by 3 d y which is equal to integral d x is x plus c. So, integral of this one y to the power minus 2 by 3 plus 1 
or divided by minus 2 by 3 plus 1 which is y to the power 1 by 3 is equal to x plus c or so this implies that the solution y satisfies the solution is given by y of x is equal to x plus c the whole cube. And now applying the initial condition applying the initial condition y at 0 is 0 which implies that 0 plus 3 whole cube. So, implying that c itself is 0. So, that means uh, we get a solution y x is equal to x cube okay, for the initial value problem. So, the solution looks like a function y is equal to x cube. So, this is a solution and uh, we can also see that. So, consider some other functions. So, consider the function uh, for k is a positive constant y x defined by y x is equal to 0 for uh, x is less than or equal to k and greater than or equal to 0 and x minus k the whole cube for x strictly greater than k. So, if you consider these functions for every value of k positive this uh, gives a family of uh, functions y k. So, this uh, for every k you have this function and you can show that or you call it is a y k and obviously, the derivative if you differentiate it the derivative of this one. So, this looks like up to k say this is k up to k the value of the function is 0 from k the function is a smooth. So, x minus k q and if you is a smooth function if you differentiate it y prime x okay, is 0 for x between 0 and k and its value is 3 times x minus k square for x greater than k. For a different k for a different k. So, this is another k let us call it k 1 k 1 and another k. So, the value of the function up, up to k 2 is 0 then it is x minus k 2 cube and uh, you can see that the derivative y prime x satisfies because of this form this satisfies the given differential equation this is 3 times y to the power 2 by 3. So, for all x greater than 0 and it satisfies y at 0 is 0. So, you can say this uh, is okay, you can show that this is a family of curves. So, therefore, and also you can see that y x is equal to 0 is also a solution.
So, y x is equal to 0, 0 function is also a solution which is a singular solution otherwise you get a family of solution. The conclusion is the given initial value problem uh, has initial value problem has infinitely many solutions. Okay, in this lecture what we have discussed is we have taken a few initial value problems and we post uh, the well postness of uh, Hadamard and have seen that uh, there are problems in which uh, the initial value problem has no solution and there are problems in which uh, the initial value problem has uh, unique solution and uh, there are initial value problems having unique solution. And now how to characterize these uh, solutions, these properties that we will see in the next lecture, okay, bye.